How many of you wish you could stamp multicolored designs using your image play and stamper? Having the Carnet stamp set has made it a lot easier to create nail art designs, but usually we are limited to how many colors we can stamp with. Previously, I've made videos showing you how to stamp with two colors in my Sweet Cherry nail art tutorial. I also showed you the double stamping method in the Snoopy tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you the best one yet, how to create multicolored designs using your stamp set. That's right, you heard me, it's possible and here is how. To demonstrate this technique, I'm going to use this cartoon image plate available from my website melanie.com. If you want to win this image plate, watch till the end of this video to find out how to enter. Apply stamping polish over the design as usual. Scrape off excess polish using the scraper and transfer the image onto the stamper. By using a black stamping polish, we have created an outline of the design. If you have a double-sided stamper or an extra stamper, you can do extra designs all at once. In between steps, you can use nail polish remover to clean the image plate and scraper. Now to apply the colors. Dip your detail brush into the nail polish color you've picked and start filling in the design on the stamper. You can take your time for this part. It's just like coloring in. For my South Park character, I used five nail polish colors. It helps if you Google a picture and have it close by so you can see which colors you will need. For this part, you can just use normal nail polish. It doesn't have to be a stamping polish. So pretty much you just want to fill in each section with their corresponding colors. Try to color within the lines for the best result, even though it is quite a small area to work with. But you can go on the lines, just not over it. If it's a tight area like the eyebrows and eyes, you don't need to skip the lines, you can go over it. It might look like a bit of a mess now, but we're actually not going to use this side of the print. It is only the very bottom layered color which will show up. When all the colors are filled in, we want to wait a few minutes for those layers to dry up, then apply a layer of top coat over the entire design. I'm going to do the same for my other designs as well. After the top coat, you want to leave it for at least an hour for them to completely dry. If you only have one stamper, try to fit two designs onto one stamper to do more than one at a time. While we wait, we can prepare the nail with base coat and base color. Since my nails are so long right now, I'm just going to do a simple French tip. If you're looking for tips on creating a perfect French tip, check out my 10 ways to create French tips video. After an hour or so, carefully remove the design from the stamper using some tweezers. The layer of top coat applied over the design will secure the whole image in place and help with the peeling process. Once it is off, flip it over to the other side and you can see that we have created our own little fully colored cartoon nail stickers. Can you see that even though we colored onto the lines, it does not show up on the other side. 
Now to add them onto the nails. Apply base coat or a top coat over the entire nail and place the stickers on top. Press it down using the tweezers so there is no air bubbles trapped under. Do the same on your other nails to place the other designs you've created. This technique can be easily applied to your other hand and look just as good as the nails you did with your dominant hand. You can even do them on your toes. Or do some more and give them to your friends as a handmade gift. How thoughtful is that? Then apply another layer of top coat over the entire nail to seal in the designs. You can see that once the top coat is applied, the design becomes even more sharp and colorful. That's it! Now that you know how easy it is to do multicolored prints, the hardest part now will be to decide which design to do next. If you would like to win this cartoon image plate, thumbs up this video and correctly name all the characters on my nails in the comments below to enter. Winner will be announced in next Thursday's video, Wednesday if you're in the US or Canada. Check out my playlist linked below for more nail art inspirations. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.